ditch was dug so the card would break a wheel. This was an ambush. This card bears the sign of Aegir. Something huge was dragged this way. If it was Aegir's cauldron they dragged through here, it must be large indeed. They turn to earth when they die, back to the tilth they came from. The trail of destruction leads towards that giant root. Animal blood. There is a trail. Roughly gutted. This is Jotnar work. But why take its organs? They slaughtered that animal for its innards and used them in their ritual. Likely the thieves employed this magic to hide their loot. The midden of the great Jotun, Skrimir, dropped here long ago. Maybe the thieves took their burden inside. Soft moss all around. Hard to imagine this place once fitted a hand. Too big to carry, but things are not always as they seem in Jotunheim. The cauldron has grown smaller. I'm getting the measure of these illusions. This cauldron should be enough to win Suttunger's favor.
life beyond this, I hope it is a better one. Small to my eyes, stranger. Small in stature, but great indeed. I am the one they call Javi, the High One of Asgard, and I come bearing a great gift. Your name is known to me, but what could mighty Sutunga want that a little thing like you could provide? Your great cauldron, stolen by Hymir's sons. Let this offering be a beginning to the end of our hostilities. Such a small thing, yet so much deeper than it seems. Appearances can be deceiving, can they not? <laughs> well spoken, Harvey. Our people may be enemies, but you have earned your welcome here. Thralls, an honored guest has come. Prepare a feast! I hope also to meet your daughter, Gunlother. I have heard much of her skill in the mystical arts. She will be toiling at her work, as ever. But be forewarned, she shuns the company of others. I could summon her to the feast if you like. We might discuss matters of alchemy on the way. That would please me. You will find her in her grotto, up the path, within the circle of stones. Have a care, though. You are safe in my presence. But you wander Utgard at your peril. I will be discreet. And Harvey, be kind. Gunnlother is different from you and I. Circle, but no way into the sanctum. Another illusion. The way inside is revealed. Gunlother, what is this place? Some time ago, we made powerful magic here. We sought to see all futures. But every road led to Ragnarok. Father does not visit here anymore. He sees no profit in it. But I am not yet ready to give up. You are Esir. I am. I have seen images of the future. Heard the voices of those who will come after us. Voices from... in there? Yes. I leave them words. Little packets of possibility, waiting for unknown ears, many ages hence. It may be you need a break from your toil, Gunlother. There is no time for rest. Ragnarok will be upon us soon. My people rely on me. There is to be a feast in my honor. Your father sent me to fetch you. No, not yet. Listen. I want you to hear the voices. Are you there, prophet? Can you hear me? Perhaps another day, another thread.
come. We must not keep father waiting. Who are you? Winter's knife cuts deep. Sky pearls fall thick in this land. It... it is cold out here. How can that surprise you? I haven't been outside in... Oh, I don't know how long. You are devoted to your work. Not my work, my responsibility. My people ignore the disaster bearing down on them. Someone must do something. We have long searched for a solution, until the burden of it has bent my mind. I do not think as clearly as I once did. I have heard there is one method still untested. There is, but to activate it would mean defiling our well of knowledge, from which all of Midgard drinks. There is no telling the change it would wreak on humankind. It would bring chaos at the least, and I do not wish to hurt them. Even if it means the death of all Jotnar. We will find another way. We must. This land is quite beautiful. I had all but forgotten. vault, wherein our greatest discoveries are kept. Such things would do great harm in the hands of evil people. No stone walls will defend us when Ragnarok comes. All we have built here will be swept away. For so long we made magics there, in that tower. Enchantment has seeped into its very walls. The wind and snow have gnawed that tower to the bone. Soon we will knock it down. Your feast is prepared. I hope it pleases you. You are generous and hospitable indeed, great Suttunger. None can say otherwise. And see, your gift stands in pride of place, brimming with freshly fermented mead. Enough for a hundred Jotnar and more. This is an unexpected honor. You have filled it already with mead from your vault, then. No need. It has filled itself. Such is the magic of the cauldron. Impressive. But what if it should run out of meat? Do you hear this? Harvey fears she will drink us dry. <laughs> my cauldron is deep, but my vault is deeper. Do not worry about my stores of mead. I have plenty to go around. Father, you know revelry does not suit me. Must I attend this feast? I have work to do. Your work can wait, my daughter. Take a moment, enjoy yourself. Father, we have very little time. Enjoy yourself. I insist. Harvey, the guests are uneasy. 
They see an Aesir, but they do not know you. Will you address them? I am ready. Now, we will hear from our honored guest. The Lord of the Aesir has come in peace and brought us a mighty gift. Attend. Harvey, I am called, whose axe is never slaked. The blood of my enemies is my meat, their skulls my pillow. You brag well. They were ever pleased by violence. Though our people are enemies, I come here to do you honor. For I know that none feast nor fight like Jotnar. Your words are well chosen. Now I will sing you the lay of Eden, whose apples gave life eternal. Those with rumbling bellies will not stand for long tales. Now we will drink deep and eat heartily. Let the feast begin! The guests are not drinking fast enough. Perhaps I can speed things along. The right food will inspire thirst. I should head to the kitchen. You're not drinking, Gunluther. I do not care for it. Drink is the heron that steals away one's memory. Some would say it frees the spirit of worry. We call those people drunks. I see your wit is as sharp as your intelligence. Wit? I was simply stating a truth. Let us play a game. Ask me some riddles. I will see if I can guess them. I enjoy a good riddle. How did you know? All great minds enjoy riddles. You fashion order from disorder, sense from nonsense. You have me at that. Very well, I will play. Give me an easy one to begin. Would that I had now what I had yesterday. Find out what that was. Mankind it mars, speech it hinders, yet speech it will inspire. The answer is courage. No, the answer is ale. I thought you would get that as you seem so fond of it. Would you like another? All right, I'm ready. Who is that shrill one? who rides a hard road, and has fared that way before. He kisses hard, who has two mouths, and goes only on gold. An arrow, surely. Arrows fly shrill and kiss hard. But two mouths? Gold? The answer is hammer. One more? I feel good about this one. Be prepared. This is the hardest yet. White-haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. Old age is the answer. Old age? I think age is slowing your brain. The answer is swans and eggs. Well, now the game is over. Have I raised your spirits at all? That was disappointing. Perhaps you'd better find someone more suited to your intelligence. Songs are not but wind and clamor. It's deeds that matter here. See musicians. Somber souls will only sip at their drinking horns. Conjure us a tune to raise their spirits. We are keen, but my harp has been stolen. We cannot play without it. Who would steal a songbringer's instrument? There was a group of children playing around us earlier, with mischief in their eyes. I will get your harp back, and then you will play. Thralls, humans kept in bondage, bred to serve. Such is the fate of the lowly. 
No guests in the kitchen. Out! They're calling for challengers to face their champion. The fight will help them drain their cups. He's brave enough. Harvey! Show us your might! Beat our champion and we will drain our horns in your honor. Bring me this champion and I will shine my knuckles on his jawbone. Behold! Do you mock me? I will not fight a withered old crone. <laughs> if you are too afraid to face her, well, that is that. If she's truly your champion, then so be it. I'll try not to break her brittle bones, but I promise nothing. Who will challenge a champion? Who among you is brave enough? Can you not beat an old woman? Up to slow up to <laughs> My lambs hit harder than you. Indeed. You are mighty. You have fought old age and won. No one has ever done that before. Drink to me then, as you promised you would. All of you, empty your horns for heavy. I need to empty that cauldron. Then Sutunger will open his vault. The mead is half gone. The Nagy's cauldron can be drained. That harp does not belong to you, little thief. You should give it back. What are you gonna do? Fight me for it? Why don't you give me a real challenge? All right. You want this hop? Go die from that me. Climb as high as you can, though. I want a big splash. Watch and learn. Get your grubby paws off my hop! My turn! My turn! Not you too! You'll break the strings with your sausage fingers! <laughs> Bet they won't do it! How many broken bones, you think? Fifty at least. Maybe a hundred. Is there any sweeter music than the clash of drinking horns? I should try. Greetings, Harvey. Will you test your arm at archery? You must hit three targets in a handful of heartbeats. I can shoot the wings of a wasp. Ah, but can you do it while mead adult? Before each attempt, you must take a drink. I'll take your challenge on one condition. For every drink I take, you take two. Ha! That's a condition I'll gladly accept. Are you ready? Show me those targets. Then take a drink and let fly! Oh, give it a try! What's the worst that can happen? Last time I played your game, I got so drunk I shot my brother in the leg. What's the second worst? Mighty friends of the Aesir. Are you not sorry to lose your cauldron? It was never mine by right. Thor won it from Hymir so he might feast in my hall. I only kept it on his behalf. And after that bloody business with Hymir's sons, well, I'd as soon be rid of it. I'll have no strife beneath my roof. The end of strife. I'll drink to that. And I'll drink to anything. Not so easy after supping at the brook of the cheer cup, eh? When you feel ready, take a drink and try again. Come, give it, come, give it a try. What's the worst that can happen? Last time I played your game, I got so drunk I shot my brother in the leg. What's the second worst? You return. Keen to stretch your bowstring? Show me those targets. Then take a drink, and let fly! Let us hope you hold your beer better than you hold a bowl! You look a bit wobbly! Look a bit 
Mobley there! Careful! Close your eyes! What can I do to get them to drink faster? Close your eyes, your luck will improve! Let us hope you hold your beer better than you hold a bow. You look a bit wobbly. so easy after supping at the brook of the cheer cup, huh? When you feel ready, take a drink and try again. Come, give it a try! What's the worst that can happen? Last time I played your game, I got so drunk I shot my brother in the leg. What's the second worst? Turn. Keen to stretch your bowstring? Show me those targets. Then take a drink and let fly! You look a bit wobbly there! Careful! When you feel ready, take a drink and try again. Come, give it a try! What's the Is worst that, that can happen? There? Last time Surely I played you your game, dare. I got so drunk I shot my brother in the leg. What's the second worst? Not me, friend. My name is Thok. Forgive me, I... I thought you were someone else. Too much drink in too little time. The cure for that is sleep. Come, give it a try. What's the worst that can happen? Last time I played your game, I got so drunk I shot my brother in the leg. What's the second worst? You return. Keen to stretch your bowstring? Show me those targets. Then take a drink and let fly! What's the second? You look a bit wobbly there! You look a bit wobbly there! The guests are not drinking fast enough. Perhaps I can speed things along. Steady eye now. The last one you is look the a bit wobbly there! Careful! You are a keen shot, Harvey. Your hand grows steadier with drink, where others lose their eye. Another round? Not for me. My belly royal is like a knot of eels. And I see three of you. 
I think I should walk this off. There. Now give back the harp, so the musicians may play. Umius, Harry Balls! That was amazing! You must be half raven! Who taught you such language? Mother? Why? Yet the cauldron is dry. All gone? I never would have thought it possible. Good Father? Open the vault. Instruct the thralls to bring more mead for my guests. Do they really need more, Father? Several are unconscious already. Do as I ask, daughter. Give them all they can drink. As you wish, I will open the vault. None will say that Sutunger is less than generous. None will be capable. I wanted to speak with you away from the others. I brought you something. A gift. For me? Thank you, but why? Fate, Gunlothar. We are helpless to escape it. 
And we were fated to be here now, together. You and I? How? It makes no sense. The Nornir spin their patterns. We can only surrender. We are entwined, spun together. There is perfect sense in that. Your words, your gift, your eyes when you look upon me. You bewilder me, Javi. I do not understand you. Listen and attend. I will show you all you need to know. Mead by this strange magic, my the Aesir evade our doom. Hirakin has promised answers at the well of Mimir. I saw you at the feast, Loki. Small wonder you disguised yourself after all you have done. Someone needed to warn my people of the treachery in your heart. Suttungor, show this Aesir how the Jotnar deal with thieves. Come, embrace your death! You're not going anywhere, Harvey. such as you. Your bones will splinter beneath my boots.
Be thankful it was me who took your meat and not Loki. What I do, I do for the safety of the Aesir and Vanir. You will change countless fates, Avi, but not your own! We will see. Hero can said to find her at Mimir's well. I will deal with that venomous trickster another day. of the world tree Yggdrasil feed from the well of Mimir. I am close. I sorely underestimated the heft of your balls, Oathbreaker. You dare to show your face. Oathbreaker, I did to you what you did to my son. This is only fair. And Suttunger, what of him? Don't blame me for your own lack of character. You stole the mead. For the safety of my people, Loki. For Aesir, for Vanir, for all Asgard. But not for Jotnar. Not for me. You let the Jotnar into Asgard. So many dead. All so you could smuggle in your son. He was not safe here. They knew what he was, and knew what he would become. Just as you do. I swore to you I would not harm him. That is the truth. That is the truth now. But how it will gnaw at you, knowing that to kill my son will undo your doom. Release him, Harvey. Release Fenrir, or I swear, I will kill you. Here and now. You are out of favors, Trickster. And you are welcome to try. I wait till Ragnarok, when you can die now. You meant to have me killed. I will never forgive that. Ah. 
I will feed your corpse to Fenrir. Let's see if you fight as well as you like. Cash you, Loki. We were like brothers once. When my son is loosed from his bondage, we will ravage all of Asgard. Quarter this time, Loki. You have gone too far. You might be the strongest, but I was ever the quicker one. Cash you, Loki. We were like brothers once. to have me killed. I will never forgive that. You might be the strongest, but I was ever the quicker one. Let's see if you fight as well as you like. I will feed your corpse Are you finished? Curse you, Harvey. Your own distrust has undone you. Now go, and do not show your face again. I cannot be other than who I am. All this was fated. All this will happen again. But you will not be here to see it. Do not be so sure of that. The game is not over. The game is never over! Gone. To who knows what mischief. But I will not see him again soon. Probabilities lead us here. The calculations give us hope. Speaking with someone. Do you have the mead? I do. Must I drink it now? Not yet. For once you drink, your Hugur will take flight and be ever fixed. Drink only when the hour of your death approaches. Then why are we here? When Ragnarok has come and gone, this place will remain. Remain. And remember. Wise Mimir, keeper of the well, give me your counsel. You who seek immortality may find it within these waters. But there is a price. As always. The mead is not magic alone. It requires the sacred waters of Mimir's well to ferment into its final state. Before you take these waters, you must infuse them with the blood of the Asim. To remember you, it must know you. Surrender a part of yourself to the waters that nourish the world tree. Only then will you have that which you desire. Gunla, the wand of chaos and change. I would know the cost. Azir blood will infuse this water, and the poor humans of Midgard will be forever altered. What happens then? None can say. This is what the others feared, but then they always cared over much for vermin. And if I make this sacrifice, what then? 
While death and ruin rage all around, the World Tree will keep you. Your body will die, but your Hoogur will live on here. In time, you will be born anew. Into a new world, birthed from the ashes of the old. Do you vouch for this strangeness? I must believe it, for there is one I love dearly who depends upon it. And there is no other way? None. It seems I have no choice. You never did. How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue, your hand, your sight? I would give all that and more. Sacrifice has been made. Whosoever drinks of the mead, the World Tree will remember them. And you, what is your sacrifice? My liberty. Sutungar and Gunlother will not forgive this trespass. They will hunt me now to the edges of the Nine Worlds. What are they to you? We ruled together for a time, a noble triad, as father, mother, and the sacred voice. Six times we tried to blunt the fangs of Ragnarok, and six times we failed. The Mead was our seventh. But they feared how it might change the humans for the worse, so they locked it away and... By your efforts, you have returned to me what is mine. The ashes of my husband. He made his own sacrifice for knowledge. With a few changes to this Mead, I may undo old sorrows. Do as you will. I have had my fill of this cursed realm. Bright mind, heart's ease. Beloved, I will not fail you again. My work here is done. Now to Asgard, to save my people. <laughs> 